Hi, STAT 112 students. I am Brent Appling, Mass Media and Social Sciences Librarian at the Thomas Cooper Library. In this lecture, we'll go over how to identify and find primary research articles, especially those referenced in a media piece. For this unit, you will be asked to identify a mass media article of interest that includes a statistical element, and then you will be tasked with tracking down the primary research article that produced the statistical element mentioned in your chosen mass media article. This lecture will focus on the best ways to approach that second task. Let's take a look at some background info first, though. So what are primary sources? A good way to explain this is by comparing them to secondary sources. Primary sources are those created or written during the time period being studied. This can include original documents, such as newspaper articles, creative works, such as novels and plays, artifacts, such as statues or even diaries, and original scientific research, which is the real focus for this class. A secondary source, then, is any source that interprets, evaluates, or analyzes primary sources and documents. History textbooks, for example, draw heavily from primary sources to capture the picture of history that the book relays to the reader. For a deeper understanding, here is a list of examples of primary and secondary sources. You will see that these can vary quite a bit, and as mentioned before, the primary sources that are referred to in this class will be scientific research studies also known as original research. So how do these source types work in the sciences then? And when I say sciences, I am also including social sciences such as sociology, psychology, communication studies, etc. Primary sources in sciences include the presentation of original research. They are usually in the form of articles published in peer-reviewed scholarly journals. A good way to identify such a piece is by the sections it includes. Primary, aka original research studies, typically have sections labeled with some variation of the following methods, materials, results, discussion, and conclusion. Secondary in the sciences are similar in the characteristics to secondary sources in any other field. They include things like books, review articles, and anything else that compiles and or analyzes the original research. Tracking down a primary research article can be challenging, but it's totally necessary, especially when analyzing the veracity of media reporting that makes reference to original research. News and other media reports will often refer to peer-reviewed primary research articles, many of which contain statistical elements, to give weight and credibility to a given story. However, media often misreport or misrepresent these studies because, as you might imagine, Reporters typically study journalism, not science, or other fields that might produce original research, so the details of that research may be over the head of the reporters producing the media piece. So, the solution to that gap is to empower yourself to effectively judge the veracity of a media piece that reports on original research. In academia, you'll often get direct citations to scholarly articles, which is incredibly helpful, but much of the time in media reports, a reference to an article or research study does not include a full citation. So in order to track down the original source of information, you have to look for clues. The overall steps for tracking down a primary research article then are 1. Look for clues from the media piece. 2. Identify tools to help with tracking down the source, Full Text Finder and Google Scholar in this case. And step 3. Locate the full text of the original article, read, and verify how well the media piece reported on the research. The first step in this process is to identify the original source of information. You can do this by looking for clues such as an author or lead researcher name. Also, look for things like a publication name. If you see an article title, grab it immediately. It's the main piece of the puzzle, but is often the piece that is left out of media reports. But also note the specific subject matter that is being addressed and pay attention to any dates mentioned in the media piece and, of course, when the media piece itself was published. Let's take a look at an example. This is an article on the use of a specific form of yoga to help with relieving difficulties presented by breast cancer. If you'd like to see the full text of this article, you can obtain it through the Chicago Tribune or by clicking the hot link in this slide once the slides are shared with you. As you go through the article, you start to gather clues. In the area of subject matter, you learn that one of the key parts of this article is that it's about Tibetan yoga, which is a more specific form of yoga. You also start to learn the information presented in the article actually comes from a study authored by Lorenzo Cohen. 
You also learn that Mr. Cohen works at the University of Texas, which could be helpful in the long run in tracking down references to his work. If you keep reading, though, you get even more specifics, and the very last line of the article explicitly tells us that the research that is being reported here was first published in September in the journal Cancer. Now let's use the clues we've identified to track down the actual research article. There are a couple of different strategies you can take at this point, and the best route to take will be based on how much information you have. If you only have bits and pieces like we do here, searching the journal holdings through the Thomas Cooper Library is likely your best bet. To do this, you can use the Full Text Finder tool. You can access this by starting at library.se.edu and clicking on the Locate Online Journals by Title link. When you click on this from a computer that is off campus, you will be asked to enter your network username and password. Once there, you can use the biggest clue we've gathered so far, the title of the journal of the original article, in this case Cancer, which you can type right into the search box. What you will receive then is a listing for the journal that will tell you what kind of access the library has to the journal. Here we see that the journal is available through two links. Be sure to pay attention to dates and notes like full text delays. Here the second link actually has a full text delay of one year, and since what we are looking for was published in 2017, that one really wouldn't help us. So let's go with the first link. Once you've chosen an appropriate link to the holdings, you will come to a page like this that lists the holdings of the journal that we have access to. From here, keep using your clues. This interface allows us to search within the journal or to browse the journal by volume or issue. Let's see what happens when we use our clues to serve search within this journal. So from here, we can use one of our clues, the name of one of the authors, and search within the journal. So we can use the clue Lorenzo Cohen. And then we're going to get results that mention that name somewhere in it. And this person is probably a prominent researcher within the field of cancer research. So it looks like there's lots of mentions of him. So we may have to do a little bit of digging. So it doesn't look like it would be looking for a thanks to authors, but this third choice, randomized trial of Tibetan yoga in patients with breast cancer undergoing chemotherapy, sounds very much like what we might be looking for. And we can look and see that this was a the version of record online was published in September of 2017, which is very much in line with what the article from Chicago Tribune was stating. So there's a pretty good chance this is it, and we can click into it, and then we will have access to the full article. And in this display, you can actually go ahead and look at it here, but you can also go ahead and open the PDF which you would be able to save for yourself. And so this was one of the main ways that we can track it down. You can also, from most interfaces, like what we've seen, if you didn't have an author's name, for example, you could also browse by year. In this case, however, if you go through, you'll notice there are September issues, but if you clicked on it, and I won't for the time being, you actually wouldn't find our article. And that's because the article we're looking for has only been published online, sort of as a preprint. So it hasn't been assigned to an issue yet. And that's something you would find out by looking at the version that we found when we searched for Lorenzo Cohen. In fact, it actually will even just say version of record online as its first published version. So in other words, Pay attention to the different details and the clues that get you to where you're going to get the article. And just know that, especially in scholarly publishing, things like this are fairly frequent where things will be published online before they actually are assigned to a specific volume or issue. And so in this case, we're lucky that we're able to get to this online version. Um, before an inclusion in an issue as is noted here within cancer. And this is pretty typical, especially within medical research, because you want good research out as soon as possible, even if it um, means not being in a particular volume and issue that would allow that browsing um, option.
So this should help you with getting from that publisher's page or whatever vendor page we're on that has the holdings, searching within with whatever clues you have, or if there is a particular volume and issue, um, you would be able to browse based on time. And in cases where you have a full citation, tracking down a source is even easier with the help of Google Scholar. So if you have a full citation like we have here, you can take that, go to scholar.google.com. And But first you'll need to set your library links. Then you'll search by article title for the most direct route. And then you'll want to look for the full text at USC. So let's take a look at what that would look like. So once you're at scholar.google.com, you'll want to set your library links first. And to do that, you'll look for the hamburger menu and select settings. And then from settings, look for library links over on the left. And what you're searching is actually University of South Carolina. And what you'll get is just a list of results like we have here. And you're going to want the one that's listed as Columbia, full text at USC Columbia like we have here. Check the box, click Save, and then you'll have it. And then from here, you can search for the article title. If you have the full article title, that's what I would recommend. So I can paste that in from what we found earlier, and it's the whole long title about the randomized trial of Tibetan yoga. Now, if you don't have a full article title and don't have all of the clues, but maybe have an author or maybe a subject area, still go for it, search it, see what you can find. But in this case, we can search the article title and typically when you have a full title, you'll just get the one listing and you'll see it very similarly to what we've saw before. Click the full text at USC Columbia and it will link you to the full article like we saw moments ago. Okay, so now with knowing the two main ways to track down sources, you have the power to do so. And you have the power to verify those news reports that contain the statistical elements. So, remember to look for clues in the media piece. Use those clues to search Full Text Finder or Google Scholar to track down that original source, then read it and verify. I hope this helps with completing the coursework for this portion of the class. If you have any questions at all, please let your professor know, and we can go forward from there. Thank you.